I'm a white girl. I'm not part of the Mexican community, but I mean, it's still, it's my neighborhood too. Since the 1960s, Pilsen has been a mostly working class and Mexican American community. But lately, that has begun to change. As investments pour in and property values steadily rise, some fear that the area is being gentrified. They worry about the effect that people like Alyssa Herlocker, a former art student attracted to the neighborhood by its low rents and feeling of community, will have on Pilsen's identity. I've worked in Pilsen for almost 10 years, but I've lived in Pilsen for like seven. And it was like where all my friends lived, everyone's like poor or like an artist or whatever, and then family is so like a strange mix but I've not a strange mix but like a mix that's like I hear has always been here like it's always been artists and it's always been families. But Pilsen has also always been an immigrant community. Just down 18th Street Gabriel Chavez is a recent immigrant from Mexico who with his wife owns Jare Fashion. He sees any change that makes the street safer and better for business as a blessing. Okay, in Pilsen we have practically three years and a half. Pues cuando llegamos a este lugar había un poco de, de se puede decir de, de delincuencia como de gangas. Pues han cambiado mucho porque ha entrado mucha mucha policía. A todos los, los gangueros los han este movido de aquí. Prácticamente este aquí se ha vuelto un lugar este pues muy bonito. Es un giro de 360 grados, la verdad. Her locker, however, is less enthused about change. There's a lot of new stuff popping up that I feel like is really like driven on the fact that like this is a hot spot and like you know it's blowing up and like get it while you can make money 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 um and that's scary because that's not what Pilsen is. Meanwhile Raimundo Mora who has spent most of his life in Pilsen is happy to see his neighborhood's reputation improve. Most of my friends and people that I'm affiliated with we like to change. Nowadays you tell people outsiders that you're from Pilsen and like oh that's pretty cool as opposed to back then like oh like that's messed up, you know, like, that's hard, that sucks for you. But at the Mini Mart on the corner of 18th and Ashland, Irma Saldana worries about what that changing reputation will mean for her family's future in Pilsen. Crecieron aquí, aquí fueron a la escuela, entonces ellos, para ellos aquí es su, como su mundo, su mundo, vivir en Pilsen, entonces es un poco difícil. Nicolás Rivero, Medill.